So we have just finished up installing our battery inverter charger system. And why did we put that in? Because we have no power here other than our generator. This is our off-grid Northwoods camp. And uh, yeah, the only way we can have power here is through a generator. And we find ourselves using the generator all the time. I don't like running the generator all the time. It's noisy. So we've installed the battery inverter charger system to uh, eliminate running our generator all the time. And so that's what I'm going to show you today is what we did, the components we have, and how it's working. Boy, the look, by the looks of it, I probably should have brought the plow up. There's six or seven inches of snow here. Okay, we're gonna turn on the battery management. It's warm enough in here. Yep, no alarms. We'll turn the battery on. Turn the inverter on. The battery's at 70%. That's just where we left it when we were up here a couple weeks ago. We turned everything off so it wasn't using any battery. There we go. Did put a little thermometer in here and uh, we're at 50 degrees just after about an hour and a half. I think we started at uh, 25 degrees. So tomorrow we're going to put our manual transfer switch over here. We're going to tie that into this and then we're going to run our 240 volt line from our generator house. <laughs> well I tried to turn the water on or I did turn the water on and uh, we've got a frozen pipe. We're going to let that line drain. I got the new shark bite fitting. Let it thaw out overnight. Well, it's a beautiful morning, as always. Uh, it's about 20 degrees, and uh, we got a little dusting of snow last night. Yeah, I got the water line fixed this morning. And if anybody's familiar with shark bite fittings, they're super easy to change. Uh, I'd rather replace a shark bite fitting <laughs> then start cutting pipe and replacing pipe. For today, I'm going to start working on that electrical. I don't know how long it'll take me. It might take me all day. It might take me half the day. The hardest part is going to be running that 10-3 uh, UFB line. That stuff's pretty stiff. UF wire is made to bury underground, but I, I mean, you can look around me. We're not burying anything right now, but we've got to get this hooked up so we can utilize that 240 volts from the generator to charge our batteries. Well, you know what they say, measure once, drill once. I drilled the first hole in the wrong place. <laughs> I'll plug it and paint it, you never see it. So 
So really the only thing we have left to do is to wire up this manual transfer switch and basically I just have to cut this line, tie this into this side and then the loads whether it's from the generator or the inverter will go to the panel box. We've got everything installed in the camp. Uh, let me show you what we did out here in the generator house. We are plugging into our 240 volt outlet on our generator and we're using an L1430 plug. We installed an L1430 outlet on the wall and we're going to plug our generator into that. You got it. So we've converted this generator to run propane. It's a lot easier than hauling gas around. But we're going to start this up, get it warmed up, and then we're going to go into camp and I'll show you how everything works in there. You can see it's pretty cold out here. It's in the, it's in the teens, so everything's pretty froze up. There's no way that we're going to be digging to put this uh, line in the ground until spring. We installed the components in the generator house, ran the wire into the camp and into the room where we have the inverter and the battery and the charger. So while the generator's warming up, let me show you what's going on in here. We have our 10.3 UF wire coming from the generator house and it comes into this box. Now this box is just so we can tie all this heavy 10.3 wire together. So we got 240 volts coming into this box through that 10.3 UF. It comes out and goes down to another L1430 plug that we plug our charge burner into. So also coming out of this box is a 120 volt line. We're tying into one leg of the 240 and that runs up into our manual transfer switch. We plug our charge burner into our L1430 outlet that we have mounted in, in the camp. L1430. This 240 volt line goes directly into the charge burner. Out of the charge burner, we have the positive and negative lines going right to the battery. So when we're charging with the charge burner, it's tied directly to the battery for charging. Out of this battery, we also have a positive and negative going directly to our EG4 3000 inverter. The AC outline coming from our inverter goes directly up to our manual transfer switch. The AC outline coming from our manual transfer switch goes directly into our panel box. So all the wiring is actually pretty basic. Now that the generator is all warmed up, let me show you how this manual transfer switch works. So if I switch the generator on, we automatically switch over to generator power and the battery power turns off. But you can see it does affect the lights a little bit. It's a much cleaner power coming out of the inverter. So if I want to switch back to the battery, I switch that up and there we go. So it's automatic. As soon as I turn the generator on, the battery turns off or vice versa. When I need to charge the battery, I just got to make sure the charge burner is plugged in and turn it on. And it'll start charging the batteries. There are some settings in here that you have to set up so it'll charge the battery properly. We also have our communication cable between the charge burner and the battery. That way we can charge by state of charge instead of voltage. We've got it all done. We just need to do a little wire management. Uh, we got the generator hooked up. We've got the manual transfer switch all hooked up to the generator so we can either run the generator or run the battery system. So we're all done. We're all done with that today. We gotta do some shoveling. But I think I have some uh, help coming. My son and my grandson are coming down and we're gonna do some shoveling. We're gonna try to shovel this driveway out because it's my grandson's fourth birthday party and we're gonna have it right here next week. But we gotta get the driveway cleaned up a little bit so everybody can get in here. Yeah. So it's been a good couple days. Got a lot done as usual. I didn't work too hard. But we got it done, and the system's working exactly how I hoped it would.
Ion battery system is a game changer for us. What a difference. We very seldom have to run the generator, but holy cow, what a game changer. I'll put a link to everything we use to put this system together in the description down below. But look, and I'm not an expert on any of this, but with a little research, it was pretty easy to do. We're packing up, we're getting out of here. Thanks for coming along, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.